My name is Vadim Fedotop. I'm the founder and CEO of Bionic. Bionic was inspired by the fact that I could not believe that nothing, something like Bionic existed in the market. It's called the scratch your own itch situation where there's an obvious need where I was taking supplements that I didn't know if I should be taking. I didn't know how much of them I should be taking and for how long I should be taking them. And the supplement market is $250 billion a year. So there's obviously people like me buying supplements, hoping for the best, maybe experiencing the worst, and nobody knows what's really going on. So Bionic was the first supplement in the market that there's a before and after feedback loop that quantifies the efficacy of the products that I'm taking. Bionic is built on blood markers. So people do blood tests. In the blood tests, they do a wide range of blood markers, which for example are microelements, vitamins, overall health parameters. And then our patent algorithm will review those markers, compare them to where those markers should be for each individual, depending on demographic, activity levels, lifestyles. And then it would recommend what kind of ingredients and what dosages people should be taking their supplements of to improve those markers over time. And then as a person, I would do the blood test before starting Bionic. And three months later, I would do the same blood test again. So I can compare actual apples to apples, what has changed in my body over time, thanks to Bionic. And of course, also thanks to adjusting my lifestyle overall. Two reasons. Number one, on average, a doctor sees between 100 to 150 patients over time. The chance that the doctor sees somebody like you with your lifestyle, with your demographic, with your gene pool is very, very slow, up to 150 people at most. We are now a database of over 60,000 people. We have the largest database in the world for regular blood testing. We are in five continents with gene pools as, as the variety of gene pools is as big as it can be. So when you come to us, we will not give you something basic based on something that we think you should need, but based on other people similar to you hundreds and thousands of them that in the past have received the dosages that we see prove their blood test results as quickly as possible while not overdosing. Number two is if you go to your doctor, the doctor will tell you, go buy magnesium, go buy zinc, go buy omega, go buy vitamin D, go buy iron. You'll go to the drugstore, you'll buy one bottle of iron, one of magnesium, one of zinc, one of vitamin D. On each one of them, we'll say drink two pills. All those pills are made out of starchy ingredients to spike your insulin levels. So you'll be eating carbs, there's gelatin in them. So you will get ingredients that you don't need. And most importantly is you can never dosage them to your needs. Your doctor will not tell you you need 1.2 grams of something. She will tell you drink two pills because that's either one pill or two or three. You cannot actually dosage to your needs or to your body's needs. Over 75% of research is done on males, so you could be right. Um, the, the interesting part is the majority of our clients, over 50% are, are females. And the reason why, why they are females are so drawn to this is because it's personalized to their needs. So what we see depending on the menstrual cycle, depending on is it pre-menopause, post-menopause, is depending on are they trying to get pregnant or were they just recently pregnant. Every body has completely different needs compared to the males who are more and more stable. So because of the unique approach, the data that we compare is female to female. And the data that we compare is we understand the menstrual cycle when you do the blood test. We have, we have strict recommendations for not to do the blood test on the cycle because this will completely change the results from a regular, by regular I mean not close to, uh, to, to the menstrual cycle um, days, so they will see the results. So we have several women-driven uh, initiatives and sports teams for females who are using Bionic because it's actually adjusted to their female needs and not just a generic product. We believe that there's an innovation has to happen in personalized health. And the innovation happens because things become more available, data processing is stronger, analytics is better, and the experience is becoming better. So by taking advantage of the innovations around us, you can actually build a product that gives you the feedback loop, that gives you what your body needs and optimizes you. So we see as part of this disruption of the healthcare approach, 
where it's not just about feeling better, but it's also about feeling better based on data that supports your feelings and showcases you how you can support this going forward by receiving what your body needs.